Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you all could join me for another week of your general reading. So I hope that you all are having a safe and fun holiday um, season. And you know that you're taking care of yourselves, that you're staying safe. So again, thank you all for joining me. But um, as usual, this is where you get the information. I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. So don't bite my head off if I say something that you might not necessarily like. <laughs> but with that being said, also, if there is something in this reading does, that does not resonate with you, please leave it at the door for somebody else. They will pick it up, I guarantee you. So Pisces, let's go ahead and get into your reading this week. <clears throat> where are you? All right, so we have the Page of Swords in the reverse, and then we have the Emperor, Big Daddy, in reverse. So, <laughs> all right, Pisces, by this energy, what I'm picking up is there's some kind of spying going on, some kind of looking, peering into somebody's life, maybe, I don't know. Um, and I just say that with that Page of Swords coming out, you know, it just talks a bit of stalkerish energy. So, Pisces, are you stalking somebody or is somebody stalking you maybe? I don't know. This could be energetically as well. So, if you feel as if there are eyes upon you or feel as if um, you're being watched or something, maybe you are. So, who knows? <laughs> However, that energy plays out, which is actually funny because earlier today, um, <clears throat> the song, the song by the police, this song by um, the police, which was in the group in the 80s. Um, I believe it's Sting. Yeah, Sting was the lead singer for this group, the police. But they had a song um, called Every Breath You Take. The lyrics to the song, you know, paint this picture of someone who is, you know, looking over his lover or looking at his ex-lover or whoever this person is to him. But when you really decipher the lyrics, it's a bit creepy because it's just saying that this person is stalking somebody else pretty much. So, um, you know, I feel like a walking jukebox sometimes. Songs just randomly pop in my head. So for that song to pop in my head and then for this card to come out <laughs> where somebody might be spying on you a bit, um, it's very interesting. So, um, also with the Emperor coming out right here. Okay, so I'm feeling as if this is somebody who is trying to exhibit some kind of self-control in some way. So maybe this is why... Um, you know, they're being a looky loop, maybe looking at your social media, looking at your um, uh, news feed or whatever it is. So it's almost as if somebody wants to reach out, somebody wants to speak, somebody wants to communicate, but they're just doing it right now and they're holding back. They're holding back their, um, holding back the feeling of communicating or wanting to communicate, even though they know they want to. So pretty much just trying to maintain some control, as I said. Maintain some kind of control. <laughs> so let's see how this comes out. All right. So we have the Four of Swords. And then we have the Queen of Swords. And she comes out in the reverse. So already we have three uh, swords right here. And, you know, the swords represent communication and just represent thinking and just all the stuff that goes on in the mind all the time, all the time, all the time. So somebody here has been doing a lot of thinking. Doing a lot of thinking, but not necessarily taking a lot of action is what I'm saying. So, <clears throat> um, you know, they could be in this period of maybe needing to find the words to say. Maybe, um, you know, just go into this period of just reflection a bit. Um, you know, getting things together because they might be afraid of saying the wrong things or they could be in this time. Okay, so here it is. Somebody could be, um, you know, watching you from afar or you could be watching somebody from afar, however it falls in your life, Pisces. But um, <clears throat> it's, it's almost as if somebody is watching from afar, but then, as I said, on one hand, they are trying to temper their words just to make sure that their words aren't harsh, that they were, that they are um, able to communicate in the way that they need to. But also, they're in this mode of just kind of laying back and laying low because maybe they think that you're going to take their head off about something. Maybe they think that you're going to have some words for them. So, um, however this reading resonates, kind of look at your life right now and just <laughs> ask yourself, have you had any you know, interactions with certain people, maybe who aren't in your life anymore, um, who you feel could still be around in some ways. Um, just think of your last interaction. 
of who you were with or whoever is on your mind now. How was that interaction? How did it end? But, like I said, somebody is definitely here trying to maintain some kind of self-control. Here we go with the swords again. We have the Ten of Swords, and that comes out in the reverse. And then we have the Magician. So, I feel that like this right here with this energy, somebody is trying to work on... Okay, they're trying to work... There was some kind of a trail, some kind of backstab here, some kind of issue where, like I said, two or more parties had some kind of altercation, some kind of argument, um, you know, people feeling a bit backstabbed, betrayed, left out, bamboozled, hoodwinked, however it resonates for you. But somebody here is trying to work on a way of redoing all of that, trying to find a way of coming back from all of that. So... As I said, they may have some feeling of wanting to reach out and maybe have some feeling of wanting to speak, wanting to communicate. However, they're not doing that yet. And I say they're not doing that yet because, again, with all these sores that are coming out in the um, talking about uh, communication and speaking and talking, they're all in the reverse. The only one that's not in the reverse is the Four of Swords. But look at this card. This is somebody who is resting. <laughs> so they're not doing much. They're not taking any action. They're just sitting back right now, just um, observing and waiting to see how things will go. But there is someone, you know, it could be the same person. At least they are here trying to work on a way of, um, you know, recovery. So this is somebody who is maybe trying to work on their own recovery as well. Or maybe trying to work on how they... Um, uh, maybe hurt someone um, or some situation. However, that resonates in your life. <clears throat> More swords. Here we go with the three of cups. That comes out in the reverse. And then we have the eight of swords in the reverse again. So, so far, all these swords have come out. But the good thing is the positive thing, um, you know, about this particular reading with these swords coming out in the reverse. Yes, somebody is looking, somebody is lurking, somebody is spying, somebody is watching. However, I feel as if they are in this place of, as I said, not moving or coming forward because they feel as if either you're going to take the head off, somebody's going to take the head off, or they're just trying to find the right words to say. But <clears throat> someone is definitely wanting to work on their own healing or at least work on um, work on something that they did in this connection. You know, whatever that backstabbing, whatever that betrayal was. Now, with this three of um, cups coming out in the reverse, this talking about third-party energy, and as I always say, third-party energy is any energy that... Oh, well, how funny. I'm looking at the bottom of the... I just happened to see in the camera. There we go. Five of Cups. Regret. Somebody is in deep regret, as I said. So if um, you were needing to hear a message about how someone was feeling about you or whatever was going on in your situation, Pisces, uh, there you go right there. So as I just said, they're not commu communicating. Somebody's not speaking, but somebody is in some kind of deep regret right here. So as I was saying with this Three of Cups... Uh, third party energy. This could be work. This could be family. This could be children. This could be friends. This could be um, uh, lovers on the side. I don't know your story. I'm just here to tell these cards and tell you what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling, what I'm picking up. So um, there could have been some betrayal in this. Could have been some kind of third party energy or some kind of outside external source that somebody was more involved in. And I just feel as if um, somebody has released themselves from that. Maybe they felt that they were tied into the situation, felt as if they were in some kind of emotional prison or something. But as I said, the positive things about these uh, swords coming out in the reverse, people might not be talking, but they are slowly releasing themselves of something. So maybe someone was involved in a third party situation or maybe someone got somebody else involved in a third party situation, however it resonates. So, you know, now they are taking themselves out of the situation. They are releasing themselves from uh, whatever happened right here in order in, in, in releasing themselves. They are also working on their own healing, as I said. So pulling the knives out of the back, pulling the uh, betrayal, the sores, you know, out of their back right there from what happened. Um, 
But somebody is definitely, as I said, somebody has been struggling with this. So maybe this could be a reason why somebody has not been speaking to you or talking to you. And maybe they're just watching you from afar because they know that they have other things going on that they need to cut out. But I feel as if whatever these other things were, um, it had someone just all up in their head and just uh, a bit tied up. But... The good thing is somebody has released that or finding a way out of that. Um, somebody, okay, somebody does want to reconcile. So whoever that is for, as I said, they're watching, they have this, they're in this mode of regret and they want to reconcile. But somebody might have, um, <laughs> somebody might be saying, hell no, because now we have the Ace of Cups. Is as I said, you know, wanting to come back and feelings and all that other craziness. It's in the reverse. And then we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So what this is telling me is somebody has now um <clears throat> somebody could be <sighs> rejecting this energy. Um you know, as I said, if there were if there was some energy here with third party, uh outside interferences, sources or anything. Um, you know, maybe that played a part in whatever this breakdown was. So now somebody is uh, saying to themselves or saying to somebody else that, okay, you had me involved in whatever this crazy shit was, so I'm good now. Go on about your life. We're done. So <laughs> I don't know, Pisces, however that resonates with you, but somebody has definitely, I just feel as if they have lost a bit of confidence with the situation. So maybe at one point there was um, passion here. There was a bit of mystery here as well, just trying to figure out some things. But I just feel as if um, now somebody... Somebody was too much of a mystery or somebody was just too much in a... How do I want to say this? Somebody was too... Okay. Especially with this Emperor card coming out in the reverse two and then this Queen of Wands. Somebody was a bit controlling here. Or somebody was just very possessive, which can be cute in some ways. But then in other ways, it can be a bit creepy. It can be a bit scary. It can be a bit overkill, you know, with a lot. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Somebody just here having control issues, but then somebody here also who was, I just feel like there was somebody who was a bit vindictive. So this could have been somebody who was involved, <clears throat> who was a part of this third party situation. So let me, and I'll say it this way. Um, for instance, if there was a three-way love affair going on here, and y'all know what I mean when I say that, if there was a three-way love affair going on here, um... I feel as if there was someone here who, mm, how do I want to say that? This, somebody was doing a lot on the side. Uh, okay, I'll say it that way. <laughs> um, somebody was probably had other third party situations on the side, if you know what I'm saying. So, you know, um, <clears throat> This could have been multiple people involved, um, is what I'm saying. So, someone who might have been cheating with someone, that person that they were cheating with, could have been cheating on them with other people as well, is what I'm saying. Or, this person could be someone who's just very vindictive and who just wanted to fight a lot and maybe who just wanted to be in some kind of competition with some people. But, however it resonates, you know, that's just one example, but you... Apply this to how it goes. Whatever the situation is, somebody has now said, you know what? Instead of me being competition or feeling as if I'm in some kind of competition with other people for somebody's affections or for this job position or whatever it is, I'm just going to bow out and I'm just going to leave the situation alone. That's um, how I'm feeling. So however that, um, however that speaks to y'all. Going forward in this situation... We have the Nine of Cups, and then we have the Page of Pentacles. So going forward in this situation, I just feel um, somebody is going to, you know, have what it is that, they, that, they, that they've that that they they been wanting, that they've been hoping for, you know, just like a wish fulfilled, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> it could be something small right now, um, something like whatever this offer is or whatever this... Uh, 
message might be. It might be a message as well. So as I said, um, somebody's spying, but they're not really reaching out right now. They're not speaking on much, but they could be doing this because they, um, okay, that's what it is. They see some, somebody is seeing the other person or seeing this other situation as this wish fulfillment, as this, um, you know, what it is that they wanted. So maybe, as I said, if this was a situation involving multiple people, other people, um, maybe now somebody is seeing, you know, the potential or seeing the, um, how the grass was maybe a bit greener somewhere else. But <clears throat> I guess we'll see how it goes, um, Pisces, <laughs> right there. Um, somebody's definitely been working on, you know, manifesting and fulfilling and just uh, creating some kind of life or creating something for them. And it might be something, as I said, just something a bit small and it's going to grow. Or this is also saying that someone, um, as I said, is now looking at the other person or other situation as this um, wish <laughs> or as this, you know, whatever it is that they want or whoever it is that they want it. But maybe they're feeling as if they, um, they don't have enough to give right now to the situation or have enough to give, period, in some ways. But Pisces, that is the story, morning glory. And you all have a safe um, entry into the new year and take care of yourselves. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll talk to you later, Pisces. Bye-bye.